Alright. Since this is a quick guide, let's cut to the chase as fast as possible. I have three builds, although the first two builds are experimental, and since I haven't had much luck with them, I won't comment on them. Feel free to copy and try your luck at using them. The third build is the build that I use in pretty much all my matches, although it's the default Moonton build, it works surprisingly well. It's a semi-glass cannon build with Hoss Claws for sustain and the other items for damage output. You should be able to trade reliably with the enemy or even kill them after getting Wind Talker or Berserker's Fury, depending on the goal difference. The spare items are Wind of Nature for countering cancerous heroes like Hayabusa and Athena's Shield for surviving even more cancerous heroes, basically any one-shot mages in this meta like Vale and Eudora. For battle spells, Retribution is a no-brainer for jungling, use Ice Retribution in particular as it helps a lot with ganking. If you're playing with Lane Mia, use Inspire and not Flicker, Flicker Mia is a horrible choice and will most likely be a burden to the team. Mia lacks burst damage early to mid-game when playing as an offliner, and Inspire helps remove that weakness. You may have lower survivability before level 4, but with decent map awareness, you shouldn't get ganked. Hell people don't usually focus on gold lane anyways as the first turtle has a very high chance of being on the EXP lane. I highly recommend the Marksman Emblem, as it provides the most DPS for Mia with higher crit chance and crit damage. The effect from Weakness Finder that slows the enemy down by 90% also helps greatly in ganking. Alternatively, you can also try your hand at Assassin Emblem for higher mobility and lesser DPS. The effect of Killing Spree that regenerates your HP after each kill is also pretty good for team fights. Now I'll delve into what you should actually do in a match, while random gameplay plays in the background. You should always and I mean always, try to get the jungler role in draft, as Mia of Flynn in solo queue is unviable. You might be able to make something out of it, but I would just pick another hero most of the time if I'm forced into a Flynner role. I'd rather lose the match than lose the match, and my Mia's MMR. If you're really unlucky enough to play a Flame Mia, clear the first wave then try to bait the opponent into thinking you'll die around the time when the second wave is near the outer turret, then activate Inspire to get first blood. Proceed to clear the wave and just recall, forget about getting gold from the tower as there's at least a 99.9% .9 chance that the enemy's mid support has already began moving towards your lane. If the map shows their location the enemy's mid support isn't near you, feel free to take around 100 gold from the turret before recalling. Afterwards, stop pressuring the lane as the mid support has a high chance of being in the bush, sometimes with the tank and jungler, to revenge kill you, even though the turtle is on the opposite lane. Just tower a hug and make sure to steal the crab with your second skill. Once your team is taking turtle, you can proceed to continue pressuring your lane as the enemy will be too distracted to gank you. And that basically concludes the early game phase as an Aflame Mia. You should try rotating to other lanes after clearing your wave as you'll have enough firepower at this point to change the result of team fights, unless you failed to do what I said. In which case you should stay in your lane until you get Berserker's Fury. Your performance for the rest of the game depends on your own gamma sense, as there's no real way of predicting what will occur past the early game. If you're playing jungler instead, get the buff adjacent to the Letho Wanderer, or River Creep. Do not use Retribution on the buff and save it for said creep. Then after getting the creep and the buff, get the other buff and rotate to the lane without turtle. Kill any jungle monster along the way and you should be level 4, then attempt to gank the enemy there along with your team then rotate to the turtle and try taking it. If you feel like you're surrounded and your teammates can't hold off the enemy, then just abandon the objective. If they are fighting back and forth and neither side is winning, use your second skill when the turtle is at 2k HP and follow up with a retribution. And that's basically the early game you want to strive for. There are three important rules that you need to never break when playing jungler Mia. The first rule is to never stop farming in the early game. If you see your teammates losing a team fight, don't do jack shit, just keep farming. Mia is inherently weaker than most junglers in the early game, therefore if you force yourself to help your team when you're not ready, you're destroying any and all chances of closing the gold deficit. Even if the turtle is being taken, if your team can't get a foothold in the bushes, do not try to steal it. A turtle may be worth 500 gold, but your survival is worth an entire victory. The second rule is, you must acknowledge the fact that early game is utterly irrelevant. Never get conceded even if your team has a gold advantage of 5k or even 10k and vice versa never lose hope over gold deficit. The result of a game can change in a single team fight, it's still encouraged to have a smooth early game, but it's far from being a requirement to win. 
The third rule is, when your build is nearing completion, at around 4 to 5 items, play as an assassin to win team fights. Mia's capabilities as an assassin outstrips her capabilities as a marksman. Flank the enemy from behind with your ult and take the enemy's mage and or jungler out. It'll guarantee your victory in the team fight. You can also use ult to sneak up on isolated enemies to kill them. This rule also applies to non-jungler Mia. Keep in mind that watching this guide does not necessarily mean you'll get good at using Mia. It's just a guideline for you to know what you should do in a match. But if you keep sharpening your mechanical skills and game sense, getting a win streak like this would be a breeze.